All right, guys. So we got the last day of our first week of this training block. Uh, today is going to be an upper body focus day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed Andrea torturing me in the last uh, video. <laughs> a little revenge. But like we said, hypertrophy, for upper body hypertrophy uh, today, right? <laughs> upper body hypertrophy day. All right. So we have same as the lower body day. We have two exercises that we're going to superset one right after the other. We're going to do each for 30 seconds. Right, and then you'll rest a few seconds in between and then repeat that for three sets. Okay, your first superset is going to be a 90 degree uh, push up hold. So Andrea is going to come down into her push up position. All right, she's going to come down to her elbows are about 90 degrees and she's going to hold. We're going 30 seconds, guys. This is challenging, this is a hard one, right? You're trying to stay right in that position. As you can see, she's starting to tremble a little bit, right? If you need a little relief, you can put your knees on the ground. And then you can always pick them right back up if you need to, right before coming out of that push up position. Okay? So after you do 30 seconds of that, you're gonna stand up and we're gonna do an isometric bicep hold. Now, if you had weights or even a band, you can still accomplish this, but we're gonna use, uh, we're gonna use a yoga strap. Um, a belt would work here too, or even a towel, right? And so Andrea, what Andrea's gonna do is she's gonna get a good grip on the ends of this strap. And again, we want the elbows to be just about 90 degrees, maybe a little tiny bit lower than 90 degrees. And for 30 seconds, she is gonna curl as hard as she can. She's getting an isometric contraction through her bicep, shoulders, even her abs. You can visually see those muscles turn on, right? 30 seconds and you're pulling and you're pulling and you're pulling and you're pulling and then you're gonna rest. Okay, those are the first two exercises that we are supersetting. The push up hold and the isometric bicep curl, all right? 30 seconds each. Give them a try guys. All right, so the second set of exercises that we're gonna do are gonna be a reverse fly and a walkout plank. Okay, the same, we're doing 30 seconds of these. Uh, Andrea's gonna set up her reverse fly. So kind of like a deadlift, she's gonna hinge her hips back, making sure her back is nice and straight. She's gonna have her hands hanging right below her, right, straight down. And then she's gonna pull the water bottles away from each other, right, and then right back together. Cool. Again, you don't need a lot of weight to make this exercise challenging. If you have a five pound dumbbells, again, we're using water bottles, uh, gallons of water will work as well. The position also very important here, right? She's not rounding forward at all. She's hinging, right? Her back is straight and she's pulling the water bottles away from each other, squeezing the shoulder blades together, engaging the rear delts, um, posterior side of the shoulders, what we're looking for here. Cool. After that, she'll set her water bottles down. Cool, and we're gonna do a walkout plank. Now we've done this one before. She's gonna come down to her plank position, or quadruped position, right? Knees, I would've preferred for them to stay on the ground so that you can walk out as far as you can. We're gonna go 30 seconds here on a walkout plank. Right, as far as you can, and then walk right back in. So this is getting a lot of abs, but you're also getting a little bit of your lats as you hold your body up while your hands are over your head. and relax, all right? So that's your second set, three sets, 30 seconds each. All right, guys, so the last super set we have for our upper body circuit is gonna be uh, some towel rows, isometric towel rows paired with a tricep push-up, okay? So for the rows, first, again, you can still use, uh, you know, the yoga strap or a band. In this case, we're gonna use a towel. We're gonna set up in a split stance position, kind of like if you were gonna do a single arm row, right? One leg is back, one leg is in front. You're going to place the towel underneath your foot and then keeping the integrity of your back intact, right? You're going to try to pull as hard as you can, bring your elbows towards the ceiling or the back corner of the room, right? This is going to create, go ahead, an isometric contraction here in your lats, rhomboids, mid traps, again, all the muscles on the back side. If you had bands, you could also use do regular rows, right? But if you don't, this is an excellent, excellent alternative to build isometric strength in those muscles. Cool? 30 seconds off. After that, sit your towel down. We're going to set up in a push-up position, but we're actually going to walk our hands slightly higher than we normally would. We're going to do a tricep push-up. I think actually a little bit higher would be good. So 
First of all, it's important to note, this position right here, really challenging in the midsection. You really have your, have your abs braced nice and strong. Andrea's gonna bend her elbows, bringing her body down towards the ground, and then extend them, pushing her palms into the floor, okay? So this is kind of like a tricep extension, or it is a tricep extension, but we're using our body weight as resistance, as opposed to like a dumbbell or a cable machine that you would at the gym. As you can see, it's pretty hard, 30 seconds on, and then you will rest, right? On this first week, we're doing three sets of all the supersets today, of all the exercises, all right? There's no finisher. I hope that you find these exercises challenging, right? And I have to tell you again, if you have a couple of dumbbells, you can use dumbbell rows for these. If you have some bands, you can use bands to do your rear delts, but these are just alternatives that work just as well, right? So give them a try.